Hello folks, I'm back with another one. Um, I hope you're well, I hope your family are good. Um, this one is my first vlog on the channel. Um, I'm two years and one month just over into my recovery from gambling addiction. Um, I'm just offering a few thoughts on how I'm doing at the moment and what's going off and maybe a few bits as well that's happened. Um, and how I've dealt with them. Now, at the moment, um, unfortunately, um, my baby girl is in hospital at the moment with, with well, she's had a few um, episodes where she goes floppy and unresponsive um, for a very short period of time, but they're struggling to identify what what's causing it maybe reflux maybe um, well they, they really are pointing towards reflux um, but while she was in there they gave her a full range of tests and um, the lumbar puncture that they did um, they couldn't actually rule out meningitis so they, they're treating her for meningitis um, and with that they don't fully believe that she's got it they're just covering all bases and giving her um, a couple of weeks worth of antibiotics in the vein um, just to cover it in case she has got it um, so that's difficult for, for both of us me and my wife um, who's having to stay with her in hospital um, and in terms of the impact it's having obviously we're worried um, that she, she, let me point out she's She's doing okay, she's she's generally okay, she's smiling and she's feeding okay and things, but there's always that worry that she could take a turn for the worse and things like that, and, and touch wood, it, it don't happen. But it doesn't stop you worrying, obviously. Um, and that's something that we've, we've both, you know, we're, we're worried, we just want as baby girl to be okay. Um, so hopefully, these antibiotics will will help, and um, she'll she'll be back home, and she'll be she'll be fine then. Um, but yeah, the impact is, uh, it, as I said, worry. But it, it's also easy, I, I suppose, in recovery um, to think, yeah, here we go again. There's as much as we caused misery and I've spoke about that we've caused so much hassle and upheaval in his lives when we was gambling and or, or partaking in whatever addiction we was doing um, and so that upheaval and hassle and worry and things was normal when you're in recovery I think when something goes wrong it's easy to think oh the old world's falling apart the... and I think with me it's easy to feel that and with the guilt that I carry um, for what I've done with gambling addiction in particular although I've made many other mistakes away from addiction um, it's easy to feel uh, that I maybe somehow could have helped avoid this or, or I've failed my wife or I failed my daughter um, and that's something I'm struggling with at the moment and what will happen when I feel like that is I'll feel I feel not just that I've just for example uh, I've brought home some washing from the hospital and I've forgotten to put it on or I've forgotten to take it out the washer and she hasn't got it for the next day Rather than just think I've made a mistake, rectify it, take it up, job done, I'll feel I've let my daughter down, I've let my wife down, I let them down while I was, well, I let my wife down while I was gambling. I'm a failure, I'm a, you know, no good. And it rolls into one, is what I'm getting at. And I think that's something that I've been struggling with, especially over the last couple of weeks. Um, and getting down about and and just 
easily to do really because I still carry a lot of guilt from what I did I, and again made many mistakes away from addiction but in particular with gambling addiction um, and I think I just got to ride it out and and use my coping mechanisms whether that's in my case gaming to distract myself when I'm particularly down um, talking to others on on game and things and um, watching football reading about football or whatever just things that I enjoy that distract me and take me away from it but also other side of it when things are a, a place where I don't think that that's enough I have sought help especially in this last couple of weeks I've, I've run a couple of um, helplines and I spoke to someone which helped um, because thoughts were coming in my head again of being like I said a failure and I'm a let down I'm no good and for varying reasons but like I said just something so small as not doing washing or not doing something that I should be doing um, whether I've just forgot or I'm lazy or whatever and I think I've just been struggling with that so um, other things that's that's happening in recovery um, not all negative there's some positives um, but I think with the COVID situation my mental health definitely has deteriorated as well as many thousands if not millions of others out there um, I'm probably a bit more uh, negative and anxious about it than some people um, in terms of I worry a lot about it getting it and very 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 careful with things um, extreme uh, like not touching door handles with my hands like using anything a key a stick or anything just to touch door handles and cleaning all the washing down and being very very over the top careful but again it's each to their own and I think with me it's I've tried not to read articles I used to do that every single day I'd read a lot of articles and because I was doing that then they would appear in my news feed even more on Facebook and things and I'd just go downhill reading about all the cases and the, the, the deaths and things like that and I think I've just tried to stop that and that, so far for the last few days it's been achievable um, and in fact the last article I read was something a little bit more positive about Covid not that there's many um, just that the death totals dropped and the cases have dropped so uh, but anyway I, I, I'd struggle with that um, but generally generally now um, in my recovery Things is going okay in terms of mentally. I feel in a place where I'm doing something positive in these videos, hopefully, by helping others, and the feedback says that. Um, but generally, as well, um, I feel as though I'm doing the best I can. And uh, yeah, there's room for improvement, but. Based on how I'm feeling that particular day, I'm doing the best I can. So, I'll make mistakes, everyone does. But, what you know, it's important I don't let that, what I spoke about at the beginning, that mis one mistake dwindle into I'm a failure, I'm this, that and other. Although, I, I believe I am. Um, Trying, I think trying not let it spiral and spiral and spiral um, because it takes me to some places that no one should go to. Um, but yeah, I think overall, um, this in a negative, I've spoke about negative things, but two years and one month into being clean from gambling, um, as bad as I was in particular, it's. It, life's a lot better a whole lot better let me, in the bigger picture although as i said i'll get really down and i'm struggling with certain things in the bigger picture life's a whole lot better 
things aren't perfect but life's fantastic in the respect of I'm not causing untold misery, I'm not causing upset relatives, upset wife, baby, we have got a roof over his head, we are um, bringing up his daughter that we We've given up hope on having a child um, and we are doing the best we can then. Things, you know, like I said, a roof over his head and things could be a whole lot worse and, and I certainly if I was still gambling. So I'm positive in that respect and happy about that and I think it's just balancing that out sometimes when I am on one about being a failure and things. And I, it's hard sometimes, and sometimes I get into a rut of listening to sad songs. And But overall, I'm doing okay, and I think um, part, part of the reason for doing this vlog is people may be able to relate and not feel alone. And I say it all the time, you must be fed up of it, but that's the aim of the channel. At very minimum, listening to this listening to me rambling on about my experiences or my advice on this and that, the m minimum is they won't feel alone. Um, maybe they can take something from it because I don't want people to feel like I, I've been. And my hope is that people find what works for them and, and hopefully get better if you are struggling. Um, feel free to contact me. I'll wrap this up now. Um, feel free to contact me. The the link to my socials and my emails in the description below. Um, if anyone wants to, wants to come on and tell their story about addiction or mental health struggles, feel free get in touch. Um, if you can, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. It all helps the YouTube algorithms. And uh, like I said, hopefully these videos can go in front of as many people as possible. And at very minimum, they won't feel alone if they are struggling. Um, but yeah, I'll wrap this vlog up and um, stay safe, folks. And I will, I will do a vlog again, but I'll probably leave it a month or so and uh, just give you a bit of an update how things are then. Okay, thanks for look. Thanks for watching. I, sorry, I, I'm, I'm into answer. Um, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.